Hello my friends! Ever since this picture was shown back before D1, it's been long theorized that the pyramids have had a race connected to them. However, when we finally went inside one during Shadowkeep, the ship was completely empty, with no one living or dead to be seen. This trend continued with Beyond Light and even Witch Queen's Pyramid. Plenty of statues, pots and displays, but no bodies, no race, nothing. This is where I come in. For the longest while, I have claimed that there is a race connected to the pyramid ships, and let's be honest, most of my videos have been about them. It's very clear to me that the architecture of the pyramid ships, especially after Witch Queen, reflect the history and culture of this race, and even Bungie artists have said as much. I've talked about the cultural inspirations behind this race, I've talked about the possible members of this race, and I've talked about whether or not they are truly in support of the Witness. That being said, I have yet to talk about where I believe this race actually is. I keep talking about why I believe there is a race, yet I seemingly have no explanation for why we haven't seen them yet. Liar! You said it, man. Because I have an answer and a few possible explanations for you to choose from. Let's get into it. I believe that the pyramid race once had bodies and that they walked around in a physical form. Yet an event resulted in all but one of their kind losing their bodies, with the race being trapped in spiritual form. That's my belief, and if you want my honest answer, this is why I believe you hear whispers in the pyramid ships, but you don't see anyone. Now before I get into evidence and theories and stuff like that, I want to clarify what I mean by the term spiritual form. You see, we're aware of a few types of pocket realities and different layers of reality in the universe of destiny. You've got the Ascendant Realm, which exists on a different plane than our own, yet mirrors much of it. You have the Throne Worlds of the Hive, which are basically pocket dimensions. And then you have the Realm of the Nine, which I don't even know how all that works. But yeah, don't get lost in any of them is all I'll say. So the reason I use the term spiritual form is because I don't know the science behind exactly where they are or what that whatever it is, okay? Are they just in the Ascendant Realm? I doubt it, but I honestly can't say for certain that this isn't the case, right? And because of that, the same goes for any of the others mentioned. So spiritual form is just a placeholder term that I'll use. You can call them ghosts if you want to, I, I don't really care. Okay. Time for explanations. So why do I think that they have no bodies, but they're still alive? I'm going to say the obvious one first of all. The ships are literally designed to be lived in. All we're missing are some bedrooms, kitchens, bathrooms, game rooms. It makes no sense for a race to live in these ships, all disappear, and the ships are still active. There is the belief that the ships themselves are sentient or that the witness is somehow controlling every single ship just with his mind and I can't really disprove that. But there isn't much evidence for that either, except in regards to the ships being sentient, what our ghost has said. And remember what happened when you believed that the pyramids were the darkness because the characters told you they were. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Don't trust the clueless characters, trust the world's lore and your own logic when interpreting it. If something doesn't make sense, don't just accept it, hunt for answers. Also, we know that the ships can change the interior around quite a bit. If the race were all just history, then surely the ship, I don't know, spirit or whatever, would have removed the places for worship and ritual that are on the place, or the museums, or the ponies. The fact that everything is so well maintained and cared for inside tells me that whatever controls the ships cares about these things. There's no dust on anything. Yes, I get that there's the whole game reason for that, but in the world, that makes no sense. The interior of the pyramids might reflect the history and culture of a race, but something or someone is taking care of and maintaining that interior, and by extension, the race's history and culture. You want a word for that? Pride. The first possible reason for their disappearance. Okay, we're getting into the possible reasons now. You can pick and choose. It's like a buffet of lore. It's so cool. The first possible reason for the unanimous disappearance is that the gardener nuked them. Now, this is a possibility that I don't believe happened, but the logic is there. 
We know from Savvy that the witness was once mortal, that his people were blessed with the light, yet because of their greed and lust for power, were driven to learn more. This ended up with them finding the darkness. One possibility is that the gardener gave this race a golden age, saw it all go bad and was like, yikes, that is not ideal, and took away the physical forms of the people in order to clean up her mess. Like I said, I really just don't see this being the case. First of all, this doesn't sound at all like something the gardener would do. Second, there is other evidence that doesn't tie in with this. However, I felt like this option was worth mentioning, since I'm sure it is within the power of the gardener to do this. Do you think it's plausible or not? It's up to you. This next possibility has the most evidence surrounding it, and I do think it's very likely. I don't know to what extent the likelihood is, but I wouldn't be surprised if some form of this actually happens to be the case. Now, this possibility is that the pyramid race ascended to a higher plane of existence. Now, the reason why I say this is for the key point that this disappearance was as a result of the race themselves, okay? So they're gone because of something that they did. And we have two major implications that this was the case. Pyramid ship concept art released with the Witch Queen art dump seems to indicate that the race were experimenting on themselves. In this image, we can see a body dissected, another showing a body again in many pieces, but with the addition of other body parts added in. And then in this diagram, we can see a body that has been altered to have many arms. And that reminds me of this picture and then this statue. Another picture shows different statues of the race, which they appear normal enough, obviously vague, but nothing that crazy, yet on display is a body that seems to be in mid-transformation. Reminds me a lot of the walking fire extinguisher, I won't lie. If I had to guess, it looks like the body is dissolving into smoke or vapor, as the legs and the lower torso are completely gone, and the back and head are leaking into like what looks like vapor or, I don't know, smoke. I, I don't know. Look at those urns, they seem to be everywhere, don't they? Why would the pyramid race be experimenting on themselves? Well, I actually think it's pretty obvious. If Savvy's right, then they weren't happy with the light and the darkness, and they wanted more. Her final line on this matter is that power and knowledge turned to greed and despair. The witness was forever changed. I see no reason that if they weren't content with such power, that they wouldn't be content with themselves. Now, how they went from adding a few arms to getting yeeted out of mortality is beyond me, but I think that this is very plausible, especially because they have both the light and the darkness. Remember, the light and the darkness are at the core of reality. The gardener and the winnower did make the universe after all, so their power is linked with everything. That's actually why we as guardians can manipulate reality so easily. To master both the light and the darkness is to effectively master reality itself. If this race were so powerful that they mastered the light, weren't happy, moved on. Mastered the darkness, weren't happy, moved on. Then moving beyond the physical realm is surely plausible. By the way, that might be why the witness looks like this. To a certain extent, I don't know how much of it was changed by the winnower or whatever, but Savvy did say he was changed. Maybe it's from experimentation gone wrong, I don't know. The next solid bit of evidence I have, now this might be a bit gross, okay, but it is what it is. My opinion is that although the race are gone, their bodies or maybe some of their organs, some part of their bodies are still here. Where? Inside all of the urns that have been here since Shadowkeep. I have a saying, and it goes something along the lines of, repetition makes a pattern, and a pattern has meaning. With Witch Queen, the pyramid ship architecture had a massive change. But you know what we still have? The urns. They changed style, but they're still here. They've been here since the Kolobayev pick, and that was made who knows when, but it was released in 2017. So why do I think that there are body parts in the pretty jars? It's because I believe these are canopic jars. Now, canopic jars were used in ancient Egypt. When mummifying a body, they would suck out all the guts and put them in these jars. Ooh, that's nasty, man. 
All things considered, they're pretty much the same shape as a canopic jar, and it's safe to say that these urns, at this point, are a staple of pyramid ship architecture. They are very clearly not just there for the giggles. There is a meaning behind them, and that's what I think it is. Maybe it's something different, but you know, I used to think it was just for like water or some crap like that. No, I don't know. I think it's. I think there's more to it. By the way, when this is just a fun story, when I'm in the moon pyramid, I sometimes like to like knock an urn off the edge, like off the map, and then I imagine some dude watching me getting furious. It's like that's my body. <laughs> yeah, okay, whatever. Final point, anyway is that if it's true, if everything I just said, if any of it is true, and they did lose their bodies, then surely they'd want them back, right? But yeah, that's just my theory on it. I think something happened that made the race lose their bodies. But at the same time, they're still alive and in the ships. So next time you walk into a pyramid, just know that there's a good chance you'll have an audience. And yeah, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it to be entertaining or informative, maybe both. Did I hit the wombo combo this time? Let me know. Your support means everything to me, and it inspires and drives me to improve and deliver the quality of content I know you deserve. We're not there just yet, but I'm really working hard on trying to improve the experience. I'll talk to you next time, my friends. Take care. Bye-bye. Inbound. For humanity.